Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, we're going to check out um, uh, how to do an auto white balance in uh, Blackmagic Designs um, DaVinci Resolve 14, which went just went from beta to final release. Um, somehow I must have missed this before, but uh, if you look here down at the bottom, you got of course your four color wheels. Um, if you look uh, for the lift and gain, which is actually the shadows and highlights, you'll see on the left side of each a little X, and that's where you can actually click and set your white balance. Um, so we're going to do the uh, highlights first. Generally, that may be enough all you need, so we're going to click on that. And then we're going to go to the whitest part of the image, in this case, um, this uh, part in the center, which is white. We're going to click on that. And uh, you actually seen the adjustment, which kind of moved it more to the bluish tinge. And then, of course, you may have to adjust as necessary. In fact, we're going to uh, go to the uh, the lift, or in this case, sh shadows, and click on that. And then obviously, you're going to go to the blackest, darkest part uh, that you can find. In fact, we're going to try to go right there. And uh, now you may have to go in and adjust after you do your auto white balance. And this is not just uh, DaVinci Resolve. This can be anywhere else. You have a uh, auto white balance. You may have to adjust after each one. And then um, we may uh, adjust that. We may have to bring the uh, the midtones. Uh, right about there. So yeah, that's how you got, you can set uh, white balance uh, within DaVinci Resolve 14. Uh, go check it out for yourself. Uh, free download.